Hello and welcome. My name is Blair McEwen. I'm Director of R&D here at IMED Pharma. At IMED Pharma, we're all about advancing the science of dry eye, and that's why I'm presenting to you today EI, the most scientifically proven technology for MGD treatment. As you know, 70% of the information we receive as humans is visual. Having dry eye disease affect 30% of the Canadian population is a massive uh, issue. You know, it can range from visual acuity problems, workplace productivity, it can translate to your social life and also just overall quality of life. That's why it's super important to uh, do a proper diagnosis of dry eye disease. As we know from DUS2 um, and TFOS, really it's important to do a differential diagnosis to then manage properly uh, successful patient outcomes. As we know from, uh, from a study, that 86% of patients do suffer from some form of MGD with their dry eye. Very important to understand what part of the spectrum they're on. One such tool that's able to do this is tear check. It's a really simple single device that's able to assess multiple parameters at, uh, at the same time in one simple uh, testing. You've got the ability to test abortive blinking uh, to understand the mechanical lid functioning, uh, eye redness, tear breakup time as well, very important in assessing dry disease for MGD, mybography to understand the gland structure, tear meniscus height to also assess the aqueous portion of dry eye. EI is really where it steps in in terms of treatment options. Up until now, we haven't had many treatment options for longer term treatment of MGD. This provides a unique mode of action that has been studied extensively in more than 13 studies around the world showing its uh, improvements. If we look at the unique mode of action that has happens with um, EI, you've got three different modes of action and one unique one. Really the, the treatment of periocular inflammation, reducing that vicious circle of dry eye causing inflammation, inflammation causing dry eye, you're breaking that cycle with uh, this IRPL device. As well, you're heating the meibomian glands to aid expression, which always helps in terms of MGD patients. But the third and most important is that you're activating the parasympathetic neurological stimulation, really, of the trigeminal nerve. And what this does is essentially activates the nervous system to then get the meibomian gland functioning again and stimulating the production of meibom. This has been shown to be very effective in several, several studies. Here in a study by Jennifer Craig, where she had 28 patients, uh, where she did a paradise study. So one eye treated, the other eye not. She saw a significant improvement in tear breakup time and accordingly an improvement in the lipid layer grade on the treated eye and non, uh, not on the control eye. If we look at Carabolero here, 36 patients with 72 eyes, exactly uh, similar results in terms of improvements in tear breakup time. The other thing he noted was that aqueous deficient patients didn't see really any significant improvement, which is what we expect to see since this device really targets uh, MGD patients. If we look at a study from Merida here, um, 31 patients that had refractory obstructive MGD, improvements in lipid layer dynamics where they went from a crystal-like consistency to a pearl-like consistency, and accordingly, an improvement in tear breakup time from around five seconds overall to 14 seconds. Massive improvement for, for most patients. We've also launched our own Canadian study with Dr. Sean McInnes in Nova Scotia, uh, where he's already treated 12 patients, uh, gone through the full protocol and seen great results. And what we did here was we administer our standard of care for the first 30 days to get everybody on the same page, then did three treatments of EI according to the protocol, and then assess the patients afterwards. What we saw was uh, basically the same thing what everybody's been seeing around the world. A massive improvement in meibomian gland expressibility score, about 70%. And this is measured 30 days after the last EI treatment. Uh, as well, accordingly, we saw an improvement, 85% uh, improvement in tear breakup time. Accordingly, with that improvement in tear breakup time and meibom expressibility, you can expect the OSDI scores to come down. And of course they did, 30% reduction in OSDI scores for, for the patients. So as you can see, EI really um, an advanced device, scientifically proven across the markets uh, to be able to produce results for MGD patients. And it really comes down to 
the ability to improve the quality and quantity of mybum being produced. Accordingly, tear breakup time is going to reduce, and you're going to have patients seeing symptom reduce. So really great, great product for MGD patients.